and welcome back to Half Hour Henshin, episode 75. As always, I am one of your hosts, Sleepy Witch, joined by... EJ is there, the 2.5D here, TalkTuber. And man, <laughs> do we have some very a different whiplash. kind of episodes to talk about. Yeah, yeah it's just, just a whiplash of episodes. Whiplash like, is a good word for it. Oh man, so, so like, be- before we really lead into Gotchard, uh, like... The funny thing about Gotchard is that did you see the merch they made for it? How they were advertising the the Kemi for this episode? Absolutely not. I have not. Do, seen do, it. Do, do you know about those K-pop cards or those K-pop photo frames? Oh yeah, yeah. I know that the people. I know people buy those little photo frames. Yeah, were they selling some of him? Yes, they were selling one to to put the to put the Kemi of this episode in. That's that's good. I mean, that's. <laughs> It makes sense, okay? It's, I like it's that. It's so funny. It's so funny. So, to get into the episode, um, yeah, we have the, the, the vampire Zukun Zukunpire. Zukunpire, yeah. Yeah. Um, I here's the thing, it was just it was just a funny little gag episode for the most part. Until like the end. Uh yeah. mainly because like, you know, I feel like vampire, but actually they're like a love vampire, and like the more you love him, the weaker you get. That's kind of like a like like a little bit of a trope. That was cool. Mm-hmm. The fact that he was a Kemi was also just kind of interesting because it feels like for a little bit we just have not been focusing on like the Kemi's doing things. Yeah, and it, it's it's really cool too because like you know obviously I mean I'm of course I'm the one saying this, but uh, the fact that they name drop Wrestler G for this episode because of like we you know like Wrestler whole G. yeah we, yeah we love Wrestler yeah. G. Here's the thing I I just love kind of just the the dumb little like like vibes from this episode from like the very beginning where like they all notice Renge's acting weird and every and then like of course if you look at who's reacting the, none of these three are going to be like oh yeah she's in love and it's Hotaru's mom who has to tell them <laughs> yeah it's like <laughs> they're all so focused on Kemi's that they don't think about like you know nor- quote unquote normal high school things which is kind of funny to think about that Renge is like the most normal high schooler out of all, out of all of them, yeah. for sure. Uh, yeah. And then also incredibly funny that Reg is like, what was the, the, the description of her love? It's like, he's incredibly handsome, a little bit stuck up, but he's a man on a mission. And who does Hotaro immediately think of? Yep. Span- <laughs> and the funniest thing, too, is that you see Spanner, like, I, they're, yeah, they're, they're walking around, and you see Spanner holding flowers, and you think they're about to meet up for a date, but no, they're just... But uh, but he and his uh mentor are just going uh going to uh his uh his parents' grave, which but which is so cute. Th- it was such a cool way to set it up. I also just love. I- I've seen people posting like pictures of it. I do love that they all like peek out behind the window, and he's just like holding Hopper one. <laughs> like, y- y- like yeah. here you go, buddy. You can peek out too. <laughs> so yeah, all it. of that stuff is incredibly funny. Seeing Zuki Empire show up, and there's like a gaggle of people, and they're like, "What the fuck is going on?" And the Hokara just in the background. Wait, Kajiki. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Kajiki being part of the crowd is is such a good gag because he always ends up in this position. Like he always ends up like falling for Kemi stuff. He does. It's just it. Here's the thing. It's because he likes it. He's he's doing his his own research. You know. Hmm. Yeah. It's it's just so funny how how uh, like uh, like uh, how how he just keeps like ending up like you know like oh no he's he he he's falling for Kemi again. Oh no, and then he's involved. Yeah, every time, and then you know, of course, you know they're 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 doing um, actually no 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 they're they're actually doing more than a baseball cap and uh and sunglasses, not not the MCU disguise. No, they're actually like they're actually sneaking around, <laughs> which is nice. Um, yeah. Also, kind of going back a little bit of the beginning, I do like that we are getting like, okay, so like, what is Minato up to? He's obviously not actually under control. Mm-hmm. Uh, and you know her be his uh Spanner's mentor being like, well, he always tries to shoulder too many burdens, and I'm like, I knew it, I knew it, I knew that like he was gonna be made to kind of look evil, but like in deep down he believes in his students. <laughs> um, I saw so many funny. I saw like I saw like, I don't remember who it was, but I just saw someone tweeting about the fact like last week when we got the preview for the episode and um, what's her name like has a new outfit and doesn't have her abs out they were like no oh yeah. how could we lose this yeah oh which, which is another big thing in this episode that uh that uh she got an upgrade 
Which oh, one is it? Lachesis? Lachesis, uh, I think. Or, so. yeah. Clotos, I think, is the other one. And mm. the other one whose name I can pronounce is the little one. Yeah, Atropos, Lachesis, and... Oh, yeah. Atropos, I, 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 I can't remember the last one. Close, yeah. Tropos, uh, Lachesis, and Clothos. Oh, Clothos, yeah, okay. Yeah, I keep forgetting Clothos for some reason, yeah. I keep forgetting the other one, so it's okay. <laughs> yeah but yeah she yeah she gets an upgrade and it's like oh i'm giving you a portion of my powers and like you know she she's scary but holy crap spanner like you know spanner like being able to no sell now let sh sh shout out to spanner no selling finally <laughs> yeah yeah he's finally again it's because like the whole bit was that like spanner was op but <laughs> what when the show starts the like scale of power shifts to the point where like spanner is strong but he's no longer like that strong. Yeah, and plus, and and plus, as like you know, we saw with that one post that was just made just to dunk on him is that uh, you know he wasn't uh, using an actual driver to like actually draw out the alchemy power. Like that may have been a fan theory, but it was just really funny that you know he really was being limited. Yeah, and and the other thing, well, here's the thing. Yeah, because they talk about Kemi's like super strong power, he can't draw it out fully. But it also kind of makes sense, and I feel like, you know, the fact that, like, oh, yeah, the other ones are, like, alchemy dolls, that's what they transform into, uh, mm -hmm. also, I feel like, almost feels, like, kind of reinforced by one, you know, the fact that they, like, reform themselves, especially for the wild forms, for Hotaro, but um, mm -hmm. it also, like, when he transforms, he gets, like, the screw that just goes through his head. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, oh man, oh, t t and after that, uh, and then we basically find out like the actual conceit of the episode, where it's like, oh yeah, he really is a love vampire. Like uh, people that are uh, that meet uh, the Cumpire, uh start to feel really weird and really weak. Like you know they're being drained of energy, which is like you know, oh wait, they're being vamp, they're being vampirized, and then you know you basically see like you know one of the followers like start to like start to look really weak, and of course. Our, our our group comes in, and instantly is toyed with by the Cumpire. <laughs> yeah, I thought it's so one thing, funny. The one thing, because I hadn't looked into what his Kemi card was. For some reason, I assumed he was gonna be like one of the ex Kemis or something, just because he looks human and is powerful. You know what I mean? Like I didn't yeah. think he was gonna be like a low, like a not big boy Kemi. He was just like he's like number five or something. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Yeah, it was like five or but, six. I can't remember. But yeah, I expected him to be like, uh, like a big boy. That's why he's like breaking the rules and looking human and everything. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, uh, I do think I agree. With there was like, 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 like one tweet where it was like, I wanted a, uh, it's like I wanted uh, Ichinose and uh, Rene to get into like more like romantic coded situations, but maybe not like that. <laughs> Yeah, the 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 turning into the hoodie to like, yes, that was that, that was, was that was weird, and again, I think it was was the meme like, and today we deal with the writer is poorly disguised, <laughs> uh, because all he did was like lift lift her hand, like stop her from from doing stuff like they, like you could do that in so many other ways, <laughs> like it just felt really yeah. like extra. Yeah, but the funniest part though is that like you know being them being toyed with by the chemis that they all get uh they all get possessed by the chemi in turn and it's so funny <laughs> because Renge gets like an extended sequence compared to the boys. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh man, it's so funny. Uh, yeah, and then we have um a new Malgum that came to help. Uh, look at look uses. And they're worried because they think Giron doesn't uh, trust them. And everything just kind of comes together when, you know, Zucumpire has been gathering all this energy so that he could apparently, like, do one big attack that will drain the energy from everyone in the world at once. Uh, and, you know, they show up to stop them from stopping him. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And then... Yeah. Like, what, what, what's, what's also interesting, too, is that, like, you know, they, um... Uh... Is that like you know throughout this episode you think they're not, they're not working with each other, like you think like you know Zakim Fire just doing whatever he wants, but no, it's like you know when when Lakisa and uh, and I'm not sure which Malgum it is. Uh, I think she's like, like Liger. Yeah. Oh yeah, like yeah, Liger would make sense. Um, like you know come uh, come to, uh, like you know show up. They basically just uh, uh, help him like you know escape. Yeah, I think it was more like they were just taking advantage of the opportunity. 
Mm -hmm. Uh, But, yeah. And I think, like, the funnest part from the fight is, like, one, we get to see Lakeesus powered up. Um, We get to see Clamanthus get stolen just because he, like, tried to put it into the Gotcha Caliber and he just, like, fucking kicks it out of his hand. (laughs) Yeah. And then, uh, Mm -hmm. and and then Spanner one-shots, or, uh, yeah, Spanner solos the uh, the Malgum. (laughs) Yeah, Spanner solos the Malgum, and... Uh, gotcha deals with Lachesis, uh mm-hmm. in the like uh, Clementus Malcolm form, and they're like, "Oh, we won!" And she's like, "Actually, not yet," and pulls <laughs> both Kemi's back for like a double Malcolm uh, of like two different uh, kinds or whatever, two different uh, categories, mm-hmm. uh, which was a surprise win. Uh, and then we, you know, see Zucumpire setting up the like Zucun everyone, as he says. Um, and uh, I, I I know I know you were complaining about like I, yeah I know I was I complained about it and uh, you know sometimes you get your your thing like yeah we get so, the so, preview yeah it's like yeah you know yeah you know they're they're uh, like you know Zakim Pyre is basically setting up like you know uh, setting what up is the it? spirit bomb mm-hmm. the full power of Zakim uh, and then um what's it called uh like. Uh, and then you know the big the big thing about it is that it just shows uh, the new uh, what is it uh, moon moon, moon Cerebus. Cerebus. yeah and the funny thing about moon Cerebus is that unlike uh, an, uh, angel uh, angel copter it's it's oh, pretty much one. new suit it's a new suit yeah. it's like a whole yeah. new suit it yeah looks not really not just nice an add on yep it looks really nice I am wondering people uh, the one thing it's like oh this is nice I'm I'm wondering. If that means they're all going to be new suits, if she gets um, more than this form, yeah. If 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 they if if, if she ha- takes a while to like you know get new suit, uh, if she takes a while to like you know get new forms, it's most likely because they're probably gonna like you know make it so that you know she has like you know really different suits for them to like really make it special uh, to like you know kind of kind of like you know cement the fact that you know she is meant to be the the okay. second protagonist, which which yeah. makes sense, and it also like it also like character design like fits, you know. Um, because Valvarad is like he's doing like upgrades, he's doing like mechanical upgrades. So his stuff being stuff that's almost like grafted onto his suit, mm-hmm. also just kind of works thematically. Uh, yeah. But yeah, before before we 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 go into the the that King Oger <laughs> episode though, uh, I was just really excited. I I sent you the message, but apparently not only did we get an English version of Kemi's story, we got a Chinese one too. <laughs> yeah, it's insane. I I haven't listened to him yet, but uh, yeah. It's 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 crazy how many we've gotten and like what is it? It's it's middle February now. Yeah, it makes sense because like yeah. this is normally around the time when they would release full versions of uh, of the songs. Yeah, I just I was I just got annoyed that we had to wait like a whole other because we we got the first Kemi story and then we got the full version. And I'm like, cool. Well, at least I can. And then they're like, hey, we did the second verse of Flow. And there's a full version of that too. And I'm like, ah, now I have to wait again. <laughs> uh, yeah, makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> no, and but but again, I really like, especially you know when you go and you listen to the lyrics and you're like, oh, you know, it really made sense to go for like the second verse of the song. Now that we've kind of like moved on to this next part of the story. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, speaking about stories, oh my god, we did not have an intro narrator this week. <laughs> uh, for yeah, and not only that, we were letterboxed. We were letterboxed this, this week too. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, when I saw the letter bossing, I'm like, oh, crap. Right, this is the penultimate episode. Oh, no. I mean, it's it's either the penultimate episode or it actually is the final because, like, uh, cause, like when, when I saw, like, the preview. Okay, you know, just to skip forward to the preview. I saw a number. I thought it was going to say episode final. But uh, maybe the special. I Okay, look, I, I, I can't read kanji, man. <laughs> uh, it's okay. You can yeah. read more stuff than me in general, so. <laughs> I'm sure someone will let us know on the internet soon, but yeah, yeah. The episode starting first of all again, not beating the Gurren Lagann allegations that there are countless stars in the sky. Yeah, uh, when I saw that, sky. as he's like walking, he's walking through everyone defeated in ancient time. You know those co- constellations gave rise to stories. I'm literally just thinking of like the ending of uh, the lights and the stars are skies. Like yeah. <laughs> And yeah. man, but Jira walking through everyone. Yeah, Oof. and 
it's it's intense like and it's kind of funny too because like when they when they uh yeah it's it's, it's just it's, oh man yeah it's it's just so intense like you know just seeing that that intro to the episode and the other thing about this episode is that we got fooled completely by the uh, by the preview uh just a bit uh i yeah. love yeah i love the the bit he like he like everyone's dead and he looks up and dude this is Doug Dead's just sitting there like hee hee what's up <laughs> uh oh again getting the like little beginning of the song and like the intro like music starts and you're getting the song and there's no like recap from there's no little thing from jeremy being like you know this is the story of you know five kings and the story of warriors and rebellion but like just not getting any of that was such a like a <laughs> like a dreaded like oh god i was almost expecting it for a second i was like are they gonna do like a full instrumental of the song for the opening this week dude that would have been awesome but... that would have been insane just 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 you're seeing all the same visuals just with no lyrics Oof, oh, that would have gone yeah. really hard. Um, and again, going through just the first bit of of the of the episode that leads up to this, uh, they're talking about making the super gigantic gigantic robot. Which again, I love how they I love how they 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 show each one in uh, in order, and you're just like thinking they're not beating these allegations. <laughs> no, they're they they ha- they aren't. They have it. They won't. They it's it, we're on the like penultimate episode. They just haven't. <laughs> the allegations are I also just love how like the screen is not physically big enough to show how big the mech is. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're only just, able to see like a shin. Yeah, we can see up to like his knees. Uh I also just love how Rita's like, "What? Are you fucking shitting with me, bro?" Yeah. <laughs> Oh man, I I I I love that so much. It's so funny. <laughs> also, being like we used up the 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 last symbol to defeat Grody, so we don't have a substitute for Immortal Life because all the symbols are basically going to be the thing that came together to uh to 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 make this come to fruition. Was mm. was like you know we'll, we'll we'll make do. Like we have some time, only for Doug Dead to immediately be like, but. But what if you don't? What if I just? What if I'm here to like finish it all off right now? Yeah, it it makes sense for yeah, you know the 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 for him to be Nia and <laughs> uh, uh, yeah I, I, yeah yeah. Uh, but yeah, and then uh, Doug Dead shows up and uh, already starts. Already yep. starts. Yep. And you know we get the we we get the the stuff like, you know, do you have a chance? You know, do you have a way to like build the mech? If we can buy you twenty four hours, and he's like, not unless we literally stacked hundreds of miracles against each other, <laughs> which again, yeah. not not beating the allegations at all. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, and after after that, you know, uh, Rita, uh, Rita calls for evacuation ev- ev- evacuation plan zero, and then this is what leads to what we thought was everyone landing on a different planet no this was them arriving at a forested area to gather and everyone was like wondering wait what are we doing here and then you know we do see like you know these these weird backpacks that all the retainers have and we're like wondering wait what's inside the backpack and uh you know they were given explicit instructions not to open what was inside these and we find out that they said go and leave and try again (laughs) yep i first yeah i had a feeling that it was going to be the symbols of rule the moment like chiokara tells you that you're not supposed to look inside Mm -hmm. uh and especially because everyone goes like you know plan zero and you can tell everyone's like oh yeah this is this is something else we gotta go um oh man whoo yeah yeah and and everyone's attacked also, like everyone's trying to evacuate. Rackles comes out, saves some people. Man, and then what? And then you know they they actually do they actually do the arms of defiance. Like you know while 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 we're basically like you know hearing uh, uh, Rackles tell everyone saying, "Hey, we have to try again." They are literally giving their lives to give us a chance to escape. 
like you know they they like you know everyone's fighting back like not 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 just uh not just the king Oders fighting uh, back against them no all the citizens are like no no we're no we're 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 we're, we're, we're not getting on that ship <laughs> no especially my favorite thing was like you know what you know i think they're basically there they stacked they're already a miracle so like we would never be able to find another group that could like do this for like millennia so we should just help them instead um mm -hmm. my favorite oh my god my favorite <laughs> bit of the episode <laughs> our it's favorite extra. side character coming out like everyone's like yeah we're gonna go fight and our favorite side character coming out be like wait wait we need to take the symbols from them you know we need those to survive and I'm like, and oh, is he? Evil? I was like, oh, are they gonna kind of make him like a bad guy at the very end of the thing? And then another one of him pops up, <laughs> and then Boone. and he's like, I've been replaced. <laughs> and then Boone yells out, "That one's louder. He's the real one." And I love how the guy like looks confused for a second, and then he's like, "Yeah, yeah, he's right." <laughs> uh that was a funny way to use i've loved that guy every episode he's been in okay no i mean it, it, it's it's like they they've they've shown this guy off like he is like the instant running kicker like since like since the beginning like you know just just like ah it's kira he's the evil king to he he, he made me late for my date and like there are so many things that they just use this dude for like it's like they, they specifically showed this guy off just to like you know really just set up like you know just jokes it's so good or like you know when uh when when gira and rackles are fighting and he's he's the only one cheering for rackles and then rackles says yeah all of you were just pawns to me he he, he breaks his side and just puts something gear <laughs> there's so many jokes with him it's great he's, he's, he's been great i just like him um He's been funny, loud, and everything, and, like, yeah, everyone deciding, hey, we're gonna go help the kings, and then Kamajin showing up, because it was, yeah, obviously he was the, 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 the fake one, and him mm -hmm. and Rackle's fighting, uh, I was not yeah. expecting what happened next, were you, honestly. Nah. <laughs> I am nah. your envoy from the land of the dead. The return of Bugnara. <laughs> Yeah, that was wow. Uh, first of all, not only is it wow, but it was it's such a good like Rackles and Bugnarok teaming up to defeat Kamajin. Like it's almost like divine retribution, honestly. Yeah, especially uh, as far as things go there. And Oof. Yeah, yeah, and then you know. And then this episode ends on like the most solemn note possible, which is the entire like yeah like um, like Doug did just summons like Doug did basically does what he what he threatened he was gonna do from the start. He just he just says I'm gonna destroy everything. Yep. It's he like he just meteors everything. Everything is done. Uh, but then we honestly get such a cute preview. You know, we hereby rebel against all the rulers of Terra. Everyone, mm -hmm. uh, everyone declares war on the galactic uh, on the galactic insect, and you get to see literally like everyone coming in. Yeah, and it's really funny too because like uh, people were noticing and like comparing it, but the framing of a lot of uh, of some of these shots is exact is basically Marvel's Endgame. <laughs> That's <laughs> like, so funny. See... Yeah, yeah. It's some even of these shots are it's, it's even in Aquarius. Yeah, it's not, but it definitely has the same like like brown background thing. Um, that's... Yeah, and, it, and 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 what's really sweet though, yeah, is the fact that they said we are going to save our kings. Like, like it's it's like they they like they were so ready to give themselves up for their citizenry that the citizenry like say no, we we need to save them. It's it's great. I yeah. I love I love that turnaround on them. Yeah, it's really nice. Uh, and Man. not only that, they, they they don't even use like the normal like triumphant like trumpet music either. Like they don't use their horns that they normally do for the episode preview. It's just it's just orchestra, and you're like, oh, <laughs> yeah, it's it's super serious. Um, man, man, next episode is gonna be intense. Yeah, like I I I I, I really don't remember if it is gonna be only forty nine episodes or not, but you know I'm. Whew. 
It's 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 gonna be intense. Yep, we are gonna. I hear think we're already we're basically gonna see like the big war fight. I also going back a little bit. I love the fact that you didn't even fi- like as like the viewer. Like I was watching this, and you know, Doug Dead's like, oh, you know, you 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 cleaned up my uh, justice for me. Thank you. And you don't even think about you, like I'd forgotten, and then you're like, wait, they haven't dealt with Comagen yet. <laughs> Yeah, like at, been... at least they did. Sh- yeah, like like they they've killed Common Jim like a couple times, but not like permanently. Like they've made him run. They haven't killed him, and then yeah, I forgot about him too. You forget about him, but like that's also been like the point. As far as all the jesters, he like kind of like staying in the background. And other than his defeat in like Ishibana, uh, mm-hmm. he he almost like never takes like center stage basically. And so you yeah, kind of forget he, about him. Fair. Yeah, he's very effective at what he does. Yeah. Very effective. And you kind of forget about him until suddenly, like, oh, hey, there's a duplicate here. Who would have known? Mm-hmm. Not us, we forgot about Kamajin. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, man, I am I am so excited. Like, okay, so, uh, so apparently I'm, like, seeing, like, episode 50 on some places. But, you know, we'll see. We'll see. If it goes up to episode 50, I'll be smiling because it basically means that we're probably going to get the battle and then we're going to get a, like, probably one year later prologue. Yeah. Or, uh, we're, we're gonna get, we're gonna get, yeah, we're going to get some sort of, like, resolution after the battle. Mm-hmm. Um, man, speaking about uh, maybe maybe not a one year later prologue, but, like, can you imagine we get the, like, what, the, like, 30 years later Grand Logon prologue? <laughs> Oh man! Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Gira is Gira, probably gonna give Bunda, uh, Bunda the crown next. Uh, he <laughs> might, but you know him. It w- <laughs> we just it would just continue the trend of not of, of being very uh Gurren Lagann like adjacent. Yeah, <laughs> but I, yeah, I, I, mm-hmm. I'm excited to see what we get. I'm excited. I, yeah, I'm mean, here. Thing the next episode looks like it's gonna be great, regardless. Um. King OJ just as a series has been really good. Yeah, yeah, um, exactly. Like, yeah, I mean, like, like I said, like, uh, I mean, I know you didn't watch it, but yeah, Kira Major pretty much was like the last like traditional Sentai that had a really good story, had a really good cast. Like, you know, everyone was just great in that series, and you know, despite it being a very traditional Monster of the Week style uh, series, it was really good. And then when COVID hit, we basically re- uh, we basically got Zenkaiger, where you know, all uh, like you know, half the like four four of the members of the team were just actual straight up robots because that counted as being masked up <laughs> so Fair. yep uh and then you know we basically got like you know the the most hardline monster of the week but it was so much fun because like and then we got don brothers which is as we keep saying every week a league of its own like it just doesn't... don brothers it... is the show of all time uh... yeah it is the show yeah and it's uh... like it's like t- take it positively or negatively it is the show <laughs> uh, honestly it yeah and Going going back to honestly, I hadn't I hadn't even fi- thought about the fact that Zenkaiger came out during COVID, and that's why it's the way it is. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, but yeah, like you know, like you know, like like pretty much people have been saying that since Zenkaiger, it's been very experimental because they like went kind of nuts also with Zenkaiger because like they brought back a lot of really old tropes. They they had like you know just it was it 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 was like okay so. It was basically Super Sentai dialed up to eleven, and then of course Dawn Brothers is off the scale. Um, but uh, Don Brothers yeah, is like, something else sometimes. Yeah, it's, it's, it's like it's really hard to talk about Don Brothers because like it's really good, but you can't really explain why other it, than it's yeah, insane. It just is. <laughs> yeah, it just is. That's the, it's like there's no qualifier. It is like it's like oh wait, what 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 do you mean by that? Does it have ro- yes? Does it have yes? Does it yeah? <laughs> like it's like anything you think of that show probably had for you. It's <laughs> like like things get things get like brought up and resolved in like an episode. It's like it's so we it's get ridiculous. we get we get almost what I feel like was like the build up to our favorite background character by that one guy who got turned into uh into a monster like three different times and every time like he was like mother I'm sorry it was so funny like yeah it's like it's like but yeah like you know they were they were really experimental because like that had essentially an obligatory but it was always C- like it was always a CG mech fight 
like yep. it was it was really funny and then this one we basically like saw like you know obviously they're using the led screens um they're using the led screens um you know they got the partnership with the exo with the exoskeleton suits which i'm not sure i'm, I'm not sure maybe it didn't get uh actually no 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 we we had a mech uh, uh we had a, a fight last episode where we saw the harness um but yeah like you know they basically had like you know it had like this really insane production value and then it had such an like honestly it is it is crazy how like we had an entire month where we didn't have a single robot fight and yep. i'm like what but it was so focused on the story and like you know especially during the second half and you know i like they didn't and, like i it, it's like they weren't really in, re releasing introduce or or introducing new toys either as far as i know like as as it, i know not a lot of things were introduced really after like we got the big big king Oger because Everything was already released at that point, basically. Yeah, it's like, it's like saying, okay, cool, we released all the toys, but let's make the toys so cool because it's gonna be ten toys in one from the start, and it's just it's just crazy. And then uh, from what we saw, like uh, like uh, like we've we've gotten a couple of new previews for Boon Boonger, mm -hmm. and like it looks like they're going back to a more retro style, but like the way that the toys are, like someone was pointing out, the toy is so crazy because everything works with each other like the big trailer that like you know deforms the legs it basically transforms everything uh when you pass the cars through it um you attach the changer to it uh you could put uh you could basically put all the the cards onto the changer like everything like, works with each other it's they're like really modular also yeah i just went because i i was like how do I know which toys are like currently gonna come out in a second or whatever? I just went to the collectibles real quick to just see if there had been any more King Oja toys or whatever. Yeah, uh, we got some. Apparently, we got some King Oja toys for the King Oja versus Don Brothers versus Kyoruja. Uh, oh, we have a that's right. We have a Gaburi mix shooter. Oh, so a Gabura version of the of uh, Jeremy's poison big shooter, and we have the DX Don Oja crown. Oh, so we've got some, we get some stuff for later, but again, yeah, like you said, like the main mech, all that stuff kind of got released and then like, yeah, it, what yeah, did we get later? Know. Like the, the Gaburi caliber, like one other yeah. thing. Yeah. Like it's, it's, it's not a lot, but at the same time, it's just kind of crazy. Like how, like, because they released all the toys, they were able to just focus on making a really, really good story. And it's insane. Like what they've done with this story. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I I enjoy I I really enjoy it. Uh, you know, minus some of the like again, some of the side episodes sometimes were a little like, mainly mm. that one where they were acting as kids as adults. That one, yeah. Was really and unfortunately, it happened really recently, so I'm still just like thinking about it. You know, <laughs> if it was no, no, it's fair. That we had some weird ones that happened like a while ago that I've already kind of like whatever. You know, it happened. We moved through, but like that one was like, ooh, okay. Yeah, that one was just like kind of glaring and it's like, Ugh. and again, that was like what like two episodes ago. And like again, no, no, the, no, no, it was like three, and <laughs> three. But like, but all, and like the a plot of that story when we're not dealing with that was like really good and interesting. And it's like that. It's like we just got to cut back to see that. And you're like, okay, yeah, right, yeah, right, um, yeah. But yeah, all, all, all I, yeah, all I know is that I was like so happy with the series. The fact that I like, um, like, like, I mean, maybe, maybe it was all, I mean, actually no, maybe from the start. I remember say, seeing this from the start, saying this from the start, but like. It's like uh I remember seeing how cool the the Odra Caliber was and I was already screaming please tell me they're making a memorial edition of that and when they did I instantly pre-ordered that memorial edition. Yeah. <laughs> also, yeah. Also, also, also that's another thing too. I mean I mean I know changers don't really like the other thing too is that the changers didn't really have anything that attached to it cuz like um uh which is also a weird thing cuz at least like you know with uh, Zenkaiger um Actually, no, actually, I mean, I can't, I can't really say this because I also like Kira Major, and Kira Major basically just had, like, you know, it's, it's Changer uh, wrist brace, but, like, you know, like, obviously we had the collectibles that, um, Kamen Rider style that came with, um, that came with uh, Zenkaiger and, uh, and Dawn Brothers because, you know, I had the collectible, uh, the collectible gears, and, like, you know, this one, like, nothing attaches to the Odra Caliber, so it's, uh, other than the, 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 the king's weapon which we barely see which is really funny because they made a point to talk about it but we only saw it in like three episodes <laughs> this entire season gotcha yeah it makes sense. It's, 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 it's crazy yeah. was the, ha the one that had like a lot of rangers too right no no that's q ranger q um ranger. kira major yeah kira major is the one that had um uh like gemstones and cars 
Gotcha, yeah, because the, the other one's the Constellation. I always confuse those two for some reason. Yeah, and, uh, and and I was also thinking about that too because like you know like even though it did have like you know the the super cool uh, Q um the the I forgot, I forgot what it's called but uh the their um yeah their their wrist weapon slash changer uh it was it was very, like it it basically had all the spheres that you could basically attach to it uh, the collectible spheres so it's really weird like you know seeing like a series that's not super collectible in a way other than the fact because like you know they basically released like you know King Oger. They released like the gods. They had like the auxiliary weapons, and then they all combined. Oh, that's right. We had King Caucasus, and then I guess you know, depending on what they do with Extreme, if it's going to be another thing or just it's just a grown version, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Yeah, and I mean, I guess technically they released the like add-on stuff so that you can do the combination with Gabutera as well. Hmm. Um. Yeah. Yeah, it's 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 really weird how like yeah, there's not a lot to collect for this season. Yeah, as far as the Mac, <laughs> the same way that you were waiting for the um the memorial edition, I am really tempted now that it's out. They have the DX King Oger, the metal one. Oh, I saw that. I, I was yeah, I was looking at I took collectibles too, and I'm like, oh, that looks Ooh. nice. Uh, but with that, we we are running a bit over time, so. <laughs> <laughs> We got a little distracted. As always, thank you so much for listening, and we will see you later. Later. This program is brought to you by... Our unending love of tokusatsu. If you enjoyed the show, please be sure to like and subscribe. And hit the bell for notifications. And if you would like to support us further, consider becoming a patron at our Patreon, Half Hour Henshin. You can get some exclusive benefits, such as your name in the credits and joining our sticker club. Or, if you want to help with a one-time donation... You can also find us at Kofi at Half Hour Henshin. You can email us with any questions or theories at halfhourhenshin at gmail.com or on Twitter at halfhourhenshin.